Okay guys, here's another tutorial on Scratch Junior. Scratch Junior is for coding. Coding is telling your character what to do. You have to tell him exactly what you want to happen, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna click on my orange fox, and that will bring me up to my workspace, okay? These are all my projects I've been working on. So I'm gonna go back into project three. That's with my cat, and there you go. There's my cat. But now, there's nothing there. Do you see my green flag down there? That's my play button. When you guys see a green flag, you know that means the start. Um, but there's nothing behind it. I didn't tell him what to do, so I have to tell him what to do right now. All right, so I'm gonna click on that green microphone. Do you guys see that green microphone there? That allows you to record your voice and have the cat say it, or whatever character you have. So watch this, I'm gonna, you see that? It's as P-O-P, pop. Um, I'm gonna click on that green uh, microphone. Nope, okay, so you gotta click on that microphone right next to it. Now there you go, there is your speak. Um, there's where you can record, so I'm gonna click the red button. Hey guys, I'm just practicing recording. And now when you're done, you can click that check mark. And look, there it is. There's that microphone with a one next to it. So I'm gonna drag it down. I can drag it right here. And there's my sequence. So when I click the green flag, he's gonna say what I just said. So let's, let's try it. I'm gonna click the green flag. Hey guys, I'm just practicing recording. And now when you're done, you can click that check mark. There, he said exactly what he wanted to say. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna show you one more. Let's click the orange button. That orange button right there. I'm gonna get rid of the microphone. We don't want that anymore. And let's look, I'm gonna make him go a little bit and I'm gonna make him go nine times. I wanna, when I click the green flag, I want him to go forward nine times. So this clock right here, that means, um, that's his wait time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch those around. So he is going to wait 10, when I click the green flag, he's gonna wait 10 seconds and then he's gonna go. Let's watch, I click the green flag, he's waiting and then he went. So it's not 10 seconds, but he waited a little bit. Watch this, I click it, he waits, and then he goes. Pretty cool. Um, let's look at this, I'm guessing this is a stop sign. So let's look, let's see what happens. I'm clicking the green flag, he waits, he goes nine, and then he stops. So if you want him to stop, you can do that. Ooh, look at this guy down here. That's gonna tell you how fast you want it to go. Watch this, let's go really fast. He's waiting. Oh, I'm gonna drag him back here, all right, here we go. Let's make him go really slow, maybe. Oh, look how fast he went, there he goes. Let's make him go really slow now. Okay, he's gonna walk really slow. Let's walk really slow. Oh, look how slow he's going. There you go. All right, good job. All right, guys, the last one. This is called a repeat. Anything I put in this box, it will repeat forever, or however many times you tell it. So I'm gonna make him go forward and then backwards. Forward, backwards, and I'm gonna make him do it four times. Because that's what my repeat says, four times. I'm gonna click the green flag, here it goes. Back, oh look at that, he's dancing. So maybe the repeat button will be good for like dance moves. Let's say I want him to repeat that only twice. Let's see what, so when I click the green flag, he's gonna go forward, backwards, two times. There you go guys, that's coding. You tell him exactly what to do. If you don't want your code, just throw it away and get new code, okay? There's your movement, there's your people, you can make, uh, make them say stuff. You can record there. You can make them go faster or repeat stuff. All right, guys, coding is telling him what to do. All right, good luck.